Hello and welcome. I'm Bob Proctor. And I am really proud and very pleased to be part of The Secret. You see, The Secret literally changed my life around 45 years ago. And for the past 38 years, I have traveled all over the world helping people understand The Secret. The law of attraction is always working. You can never escape it. Everything that comes into your life, you're attracting into your life. And you see, as we understand the secret, then we can sit down and dictate exactly what we want to come into our life. And with absolute certainty, it will arrive. Let's stop and think of who we are, what we are. You see, I said I am Bob Proctor. The truth is I'm not really Bob Proctor. Bob and Proctor are two words. That's my name, but it's not me. I might look at myself and say, this is me, but this isn't Bob Proctor. This isn't me either. You've never heard anybody phone into work and say, body's not coming in today, it's sick. You've never heard anyone say, am hand. We say, my hand, my name, my job. These are things we have, but it's not me. See, I am a soul, a spirit, non-physical, and I live in this physical body. And I have the ability to dictate the vibration that my mind and body will be in. You see, vibration is a law of the universe. This entire universe operates by law. There are no accidents. And vibration decrees the law of vibration that we literally live in an ocean of motion. Absolutely nothing rests. Everything moves. Everything's vibrating at one speed or another. And we can move into a positive or a negative vibration. We use the word feeling to describe the conscious awareness of the vibration we're in. If you hear a person say, I'm not feeling very well, what they're really saying is, I am in a negative vibration. When you hear a person say, I feel so good, what they're really saying is, I'm in a positive vibration. Now, do you know, when you're in a negative vibration, the only energy you can attract to you is like energy. You're going to attract negative situations into your life. When you're in a positive vibration, the only thing you can attract into your life are things that are in harmony with you, positive things. So let's think about this for a moment. Our body is a molecular structure. It's a mass of molecules in a very high speed of vibration. Mind is movement, and body is the manifestation of that movement. You and I have the conscious ability to choose the images that we're going to hold in our mind. We tap into an infinite source of supply, and we choose our thoughts. We can pick up other people's thoughts or we can originate thoughts. And when we bring those thoughts together, we create ideas. I can create an idea in my mind of myself having anything I want. And then as I take that idea and impress it upon my subconscious mind, which is universal intelligence, I not only affect my body, but I affect this entire universe. Now I know that most of us have such a small picture, a small image of ourselves, that we have a difficult time believing that we would actually affect the entire universe. But we do. Do you know that thought waves are cosmic waves that penetrate all time and space? And when I think something, I control the vibration I'm in. And when I control the vibration I'm in, I control what I attract into my life. If I want greater wealth, I just have to see it coming into my life. I've been given a magnificent imagination. And through the use of my imagination, I can create, originate pictures in my mind. I can see myself in beautiful relationships. I can see myself experiencing wonderful success. I can see money coming to me through multiple sources on a continuous basis. You see, I dictate what I see. Do you know, Viktor Frankl was a Jewish psychiatrist that spent the war years in a concentration camp. Now, I don't suppose anyone has ever experienced more physical and intellectual abuse than those people that were in those camps. But Viktor Frankl pointed out in a marvelous book, Man's Search for Meaning, that no one could cause him to think something he didn't want to think. And you know, all the great leaders, all down through history, as far back as you want to go, have been in complete and unanimous agreement on one point, that we become what we think about. 
Now, why is that so? Because we have the freedom to think anything we want. We can originate thoughts or we can pick thoughts just out of the ether. And we can internalize those thoughts. We can bring them together and build beautiful ideas or we can build terrible ideas. But the ideas we build are going to determine the vibration we're in. And the vibration we're in is going to dictate the energy that we attract to us. Now ask yourself, what do you really want? Think about it for a moment. What kind of relationships do you want? What kind of health do you want to experience? Do you want prosperity? What kind of a business do you want? Do you know that you are the architect of your life? You truly are. And you can tap into this infinite source of supply. And it is an infinite source of supply. I think one of the most magnificent authors of the past 500 years was a man named Thomas Troward. And he talked about the spirit of opulence. And he talked about us tapping into the infinite. And he said, when you are drawing from the infinite, you can never take more than your share. Abundance is your birthright. But understand this. You will never attract into your life something that is not in harmony with you. And so if you want more, if you want greater wealth, greater health, more meaningful relationships, make up your mind right now that you're going to build the image of what you want and you're going to hold on to that image and you're going to stay in that vibration. This entire universe is an orderly universe. Energy attracts like energy. So just understand that the good that you want is already here. All you have to do is get in harmony with it. And you do that through your own thinking. It's absolutely phenomenal when you stop and think about it. Build the image of the world you want to live in. Watch the film, The Secret, over and over again. Go to the website, The Secret TV. Because all of the products that they're offering you are going to help you alter your conditioning, change your habitual way of thinking. And when you do that, you have changed your world. I did that 45 years ago. I was just a young man, but I was given a book. And the book helped me establish a purpose for my life. It helped me understand myself. And you're going to attract according to your belief. Now, you might not really believe in yourself. But if you keep studying, you're going to be absolutely amazed with yourself. You see, our belief system is based upon our evaluation of something. And the more we reevaluate a situation, the more our belief about that situation will change. I want you to reevaluate the laws that govern your being. Start to understand the law of vibration. See how the law of attraction and the law of vibration are really, in truth, the same law. You can only attract to you the things that vibrate in harmony with you. I'll look forward to meeting you in open programs that we conduct, that Secret are going to promote. And I look forward to meeting you on another series of videos that this company is offering. The secret is phenomenal. It's waking up the world. This is Bob Proctor. Thank you.